Hi everyone, I'm Roshin. And I'm Leo, and we're here today to bring you on a tour of some great places close to DCU. DCU has five campuses, three of which are academic. All of them are located on the north side of the city within walking distance of each other. Come with us and we take you on our tour. Let's go! Right beside DCU's Glasnevin campus is Albert College Park, where you can go to clear your head after a lecture, run, walk or exercise. The easiest way to move around Dublin's transport system is with the Leap Card, which works on all bus, Lewis and train routes. There are five different bus routes you can take to DCU. The quickest way to get around Dublin is by bike, and you can use bleeper bikes to get between campuses, Dublin City and the coast roads all the way out to Hoth and Malahide. South of Glasnevin is Drumcondra Village, located just a short walk or bus ride from DCU Glasnevin campus, and home to DCU St Patrick's campus and DCU All Hallows campus. There's lots of options for shopping and a variety of different restaurants, cafes and bakeries. Croke Park is Ireland's largest stadium and hosts sporting events including GEA matches and the All-Ireland Finals, concerts, conferences and even a skyline tour from the highest open viewpoint in Dublin. We're on the road again to the Botanic Gardens here in Glasnevin, which is only a quick walk from DCU. It features over 15,000 species of plants, trees and flowers. The gardens are free to visit. Next up we have Fibsborough Village. It's well connected to DCU by just a short walk, cycle or bus ride. Fibsborough is full of amazing places to dine and hang out. West of DCU is the Phoenix Park, the largest urban park in all of Europe, and is home to Dublin Zoo, extensive gardens and some famous monuments. Even the President of Ireland lives here. You can rent a bike and cycle through the park and even make a few friends along the way. We've made it into the city centre, or a town as the locals would call it. There's never a dull moment in Dublin. There's always lots to do no matter what your interests are. From art galleries and museums, historical sites and parks to music venues, Dublin will be sure to offer an experience for everybody. Our next stop is Clontaff. Here you can find some great seafood, scenic walking and cycle paths, and also fantastic places to eat. You can walk the beach at Dolly Mouse Train, watch in amazement as the crazy local braves the Irish Sea. Just across from the Dolly Mouse Train is the St. Anne's Park, one of the Dublin largest parks. St. Anne's is home to a lovely rose garden, a cafe, picnic areas, tennis courts and playing pitches. If you fancy a day away from the hustle and bustle of city life, and the seaside village of Hope is the place to go. Accessible by bus and dark, how make you feel like you are in the Mediterranean. It's great for swimming in the warmer months and has spectacular cliff walk. On the weekend, there is a market where you can find the locally made food. Our last stop is Malahide Coastal Village, not far from DCU and a perfect place for an escape from the city. The Malahide Castor sits in a huge park and it is a perfect place for walk and enjoy nature. And in Malahide Village, there are a lot of places for shopping and dining. That's all we had time for today. Did it just a snapshot of everything at your doorstep when you choose to study at DCU? And the best way to learn about the city is to experience it for yourself. We can't wait to welcome you to DCU soon. See ya! See ya.